All right, we got one more uh, Ryan video, and then we're gonna hop on Fort to end things off. Make sure things don't lag over there. All right. So obviously, as y'all know, my boy Ryan. In the last video, he got a truck from a motorcycle, from speakers, from you. You know the rest. He's, this is part three. He's killing the game. He's going to get that house. He might even get it this episode. Every time someone hit that follow button, five push up. Man, man, man. It might be time for a new intro, by the way, too. I just want to say that. Anyway. This is a penny. It's not about me. It's about Ryan. I'm turning it into this house in one week. Okay, probably a different house. Three days ago, I had a penny and traded for a pen. Then a blue dinosaur, yep. then this, then this, then this, then these, then a motorcycle that needs a lot of repairs, then a 20-year-old truck. And now, it is day four of seven. I have a 20-year-old truck with 330,000 miles on it and no leads at, at all. <laughs> I spent most of day four Sheesh. on my computer and making- 300,000 miles, you know. Hey, Fonzie, I'm just leaving a message about the tiny home. If you could call me back, that'd be awesome. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. It's definitely a work truck for sure. It's you know, it runs. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just on a bit of a timeline, so it's got over three hundred thirty thousand miles. But you, I, I basically can't tell. <laughs> yeah. Hello. I have approximately said, hello? two hours remaining to turn this truck I'm driving into a house, and I've got a trade idea. Maybe Judy's husband will want to trade his boat now. On day one, I was walking to Judy's garage sale with a pair of gas station earbuds. Now right. I'm driving there with a truck. <laughs> if you didn't watch episode one, we traded for this nice woman named Judy's vintage Polaroid. And you probably know by now that we love Judy. Well, so does a We love Judy. Gerald. We love Judy. I want to be in the intro. I'll think about it. Yeah, I got I to gotta get that intro done. That's all I'm saying. Her husband. I got to get another one. And on day one of Gerald. our challenge, Gerald showed us this boat he's trying to get rid of. And obviously, we didn't have anything to trade him. But now, we do. Howdy, Mr. Gerald. Hey. Hey, you, re you ready to look at the boat? Yeah. And then we looked at his 1999 Cobalt. 99, okay. That is nice, Gerald. I don't know anything about boats, but I was impressed. I, I don't know a clue about boats either. Okay, close your eyes. Three, two, one. <laughs> I already have a tundra. Oh, ah, tough. You have a tundra? That's mine over there. Oh, that's a newer one. <laughs> Gerald may not be interested in our used car, but I know someone who would. A used car dealership. That's so facts. I'm here with Eric. And he's our car max rep. He's going to help us try to find a trade in. Eric looks younger than Ryan. And Ryan looks really young, dude. Ryan's like, I think, like, what, early 20s? is like 22, 23, right? So what do you think we could maybe get for that? So equivalent cars might be a little bit tough for just a truck. My dad always taught me two things. To believe in myself yep. and to never trust a used car salesman. So okay. I found a car that I liked myself and then asked Eric if he would do the trade. After talking a to the manager for a while, I needed answers. So do you think there's going to be anything that we can do? Absolutely not. He's absolutely not. That was my plan Tough. B, and it failed. I only have one more idea, and that's standing outside one of my favorite barbecue places and explicitly asking truck owners to make a trade on the spot. All right. Hey, nice guy. Hey, shit, for that. I spent an hour here, and no one with a truck even pulled up. That's when an employee kicked me out. You what are you even doing, bro? One thing's for sure. What are you even doing, bro? I have to bro? be an idiot to eat at this barbecue place ever again. Just watch what happens next. Downtown asking to trade breath mint. Yo, that's that's actually lit. Imagine they talk about you on the radio. I mean, it, it might be a small town, but you're still on the radio. That's kind of fire. <laughs> wow. Hey, Ryan, <laughs> if you're listening, this whole city is rooting for you, buddy. Turn on one, excuse me. Turn on 103.1. That's, they're talking about me right now. Oh, it's over now. This was the moment where that's crazy. That's actually lit. That's really lit. That's fire. 
Just going on, you know, the radio station, just, you know, they didn't just hear your name. Turning in my direction. That's lit. I got an email back from a man named Rex, who trades cars for a living. He has a 1997 Chevy Suburban that looks, frankly, insane. And after hearing about my mission, he says he would be open to trading for our Tundra. I live in he Dallas. He lives three hours away. Damn. But this truck is driven a lot more than that, so screw it. This Facts. Thing might break 300, 300,000 miles, boy. Lifetime. And three hours of sketchy driving later, I found myself in the presence of greatness. I learned how to drive oh my a gosh. Suburban, but it was not like that. We don't know where he is. We don't know where the guy is. Lit. After a few minutes of waiting, I greeted Rex like a side character in an animated Pixar movie. Oh, hello. Wow. Hey, I'm Ryan. Rex, man. Nice to meet Rex. you. Nice to Rex, nice to meet you. So y'all are trading from a penny to a house? Yeah, we got shirts made. At this point, I feel pretty guilty because Rex's only motivation to make this trade would be out of kindness for our mission, and not because it's a beneficial trade for him. And when he started up the SUV, I felt even guiltier. <laughs> oh, what? Jesus Christ. God. Our truck doesn't sound like that. What's your goal, man? I'm trying to get a house Why? and... Why, like, for yourself? That's when I told him I make YouTube videos and it's for one of my subscribers, Hannah. But more on her later. Yeah. Oh. This fist bump meant a lot to me. Throughout Rock the story, I've met a lot of cool people who are rooting for me. But Rex is giving up something he really values to bring us one step closer to that house. And that's exactly what this handshake represents. <laughs> As I peeled out in this lifted behemoth... Jesus! Texan, I couldn't help but think about where we are Jesus! Where we are now. And at this point, there's really just one thing on my mind. Oh, yeah, RCF, like you were on the radio. First time in my life. On the night of day five, oh, you're on the news, too. The cars w Rex, W Rex. My goal for tonight is to find someone that likes fully modified vehicles from 1997, SUVs in particular. The only thing I was in was um the newspaper. That was it for my, uh for like the city. That was pretty much it. It was like from football. That was it. Who's willing to trade me something bigger and better that That's probably like the biggest thing for me. Okay, obviously I went to sleep, but you can't lie. That was a cool transition. Wow, I'm not cool. We'll get some coffee. <laughs> All right, can I get a Marco, you cool. Come on, man. Oat milk, an extra shot of espresso, whipped cream, caramel drizzle, sprinkles, pumpkin spice, and a little bit of honey. Hello? The Starbucks employees were shot what the my sexy truck after hearing my order. I did spend a lot of last night online looking for potential trades in this area. By the grace of God, I was able to get in touch with a man named Fonzie. He's a local builder who makes tiny homes and sheds and stuff, and he's interested in our SUV. Nice to meet you, man. How you doing? He looked tired. You're in there? Yeah, that's how it goes. Bone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What the f What is? Our business negotiation wasn't. Really I guess I saw people rocking Texas. I don't know. I've never Bonzi been to Texas. On drinking his coffee, even though the vehicle was shaking rigorously, I was really nervous that he wouldn't want the SUV because I have no other leads, especially when he started kicking the tires and other random stuff. But we drove to the shed that he has for sale, and at this point, this is the closest we've ever been to an Jeez. actual house. So here goes nothing. Oh my gosh! Bonzi's gonna show us this bad boy. He's still Good sipping deal. on that coffee. No He's still gonna way. sip on it. Oh my gosh, dude. Fonzie's place has the following features, as well as a dining area, king of switch, area, but most of all, four walls, a roof, and paint. So, do you like the truck? You like that? Marco Goder. Me? Nah, nah, nah. I ain't, yeah. I ain't cool. Yeah. Mud toy. Dude, Mud toy. This is really, really cool. I'm like getting emotional right now. Speaking Please don't get emotional. This is the last day we're able <laughs> to get awkward my subscribers, so. Hannah, trapped in this Airbnb we got. You see, Hannah's a small business owner in Austin where I live, and if we're able to trade up to a real house, she's the lucky subscriber to get it, which is why I'm trying so hard to make this happen. Yeah, I'm debating whether to keep it. Really? While I was nervously biting my nails, Hannah was sharing her apartment situation. My I thought he, like, legit meant, like, a real house, not like an outhouse, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some, like, I don't know. The office is literally the dining room. It's crazy you can start a business from your couch nowadays. Fonzie's talking to his friend on the phone and showing him the SUV, and I can only hope that's a good thing. Over the last week, we've distracted Hannah by having her set up an e-commerce store with our sponsor, Shopify. But the Shopify. crazy thing is, in six days, Hannah has set up her website, made several sales, and shipped out products with Shopify. Meanwhile, Fonzie is doing this. Somehow I got talked into getting into the Suburban and going mudding. I was horrified. Mudding. It was pretty fun. And as my friend Preston, who was supposed to be a Shopify expert, was laughing on the couch, Hannah said this to our filming crew. Yeah, I've always known he hasn't worked for Shopify. Really? 
Well, that's awkward. I guess you don't need a Preston to figure this stuff out. <laughs> If you want to sign up, use my link, Shopify.com slash Ryan Trade. Oh, Shopify is actual real thing? For the last time, I said goodbye to Rex's Suburban and traded for Fonzie's tiny home. And that's when Fonzie showed me something even crazier. Really? Yeah, this is my next build. Okay, I'm finishing it out. It's not definitively a house, but it's the best tiny home you could possibly imagine. Just give me a boat and trade. Trade for this? Yep. I gotta get you a boat. Give me a boat. Oh, that's actually lit. That's lit. I found myself back where I started, but now I only have 24 hours. Hey, Gerald, sorry to call so late. Okay. Should we just watch the finale? That's a W video, Ryan, by the way. That's a W video. Oh my god, Bonnie. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here?